Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I'm not talking about just a cliche. You know how people ask you how you're doing and you said, I'm blessed and highly favored, but I'm talking about truly being blessed. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I have a dust said the Lord and the Lord has been speaking. Actually, just God is always speaking. I need y'all to know that God is always speaking, even when you think he's not speaking, even when he's silent. Because to be honest with you, silence really means that he's moving. A lot of people, they get tripped up. They say, well, I haven't heard from God or I don't hear God. Let me tell you something. God's most powerful movements are silent. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. So don't get tricked. Don't get twisted. I'm telling you right now. But I want to stick to the message at hand. And the message is, just saith the Lord, does the body of Christ understand what kind of supernatural power that comes from God? Listen to what I'm saying. We're not seeing the miracle signs and wonder, the way the wonders, the way we're supposed to see in the body of Christ. And I'm, I'm just going to be very transparent. The Bible says that the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit cannot dwell in an unclean temple. Now, we're not saying be perfect because nobody's, we're, and we're never going to be perfect in this flesh, but we're supposed to strive for perfection. That means doing the right thing. That means not sinning. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm going somewhere with this. Just bear with me. What's happening is the reason why people are not seeing Deuteronomy's power. I'm talking about the power that the apostles had, the same power that Jesus had, the same power that God gives us. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's because most people are in sin. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah, you know it's the truth. And hold on. Sin is sin. We're talking about a little sin, big sin, sin is sin. It will stop the power of God from flowing in your life. The Bible says that the, right, the prayers of the righteous are valid much. That lets us know right there. Unless you are truly walking in integrity, honor, not sinning, you can't possess the power of God. And we have a church that's not doing that. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And that's not to bash. That's just, that's just honesty. You have to examine yourself every day and say, Father God, if I'm not pleasing or if I'm doing something that is not of you, help me. Come on, somebody. I, don't, I truly believe people love God. I truly believe most people love God, most Christians. But I'm going to tell you what gets us. I'm going to put, put myself in there too. It's the sins of the flesh, the lust. See, what has happened is that most people are striving for perfection, but through money, through cars, through houses, through trying to make, have a brand, get a lot of, a million followers. You understand what I'm saying? Is anybody understand what I'm saying? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You're striving for the wrong things. Everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be the next type of apostle, prophet, evangelist, teacher, preacher. Everybody's, and he, and he says clearly in Colossians, he said, don't set your sights on things that's here, but in heaven. What am I saying? Most people are trying to just make it in this world, and that's their sole thing. They just want to make it. They want to show everybody, I've made it. Let me ask you something. Did not Satan do the same thing to Jesus Christ when he took him on the pinnacle? He says, if you bow down and worship me, I give you all the kingdoms of the world. He's doing the same thing to us. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. And most of you are shaking hands with him. That's what happened to most of the um, mega churches. They've shaken hands with him. I'm talking about, honestly, you, you, you're not going to see the real powerful ones on TV too much. Mm -mm, no. You're not going to see the powerful ones on, on, on BET getting a, a gospel award. And we're talking about the ones that's really anointing. Oh, y'all want to hear what I'm saying today? The world love its own. When you are truly anointed, they don't want that to go past any wave because guess what? It'll break. Hallelujah. It'll break yokes. Just the voice. Hallelujah. Not us, but the spirit that we carry. Hallelujah. What am I saying? It's time to walk in power for real. I, I feel it in my life. Something is changing. I mean... It's not just taking off the makeup and going natural. I feel something growing inside me. I feel like a, I feel like a, a caterpillar metamorphosis is taking place. And I know something is getting ready to come out like never before, which is the power of God. Not, not, my, not me trying to be all that. Come on, somebody. Not, not trying to get a million followers. Not trying to get people to like me. No, no, no. But, but God is saying, I need the power. I need my power on the earth. Hallelujah. You see, right now, the devil, the devil is just trampling in the church and out the church. 
Why y'all think all this stuff is happening in the world? Because people are not seeing the true power of God. How is it happening? People are getting tainted. People are getting tainted. You're allowing your lust for money, your lust for men, your lust for women, your lust for things, your lust to be on top, your lust. Let me tell y'all something. And I was telling this to one of my mentees. And I had to learn that myself, by the way. In order to truly be powerful in God, you have to put everything in God. You have to say no to everything. I had to say no to my desires. I had to say no to what I thought I wanted. I had to say no, come on somebody, hallelujah, to some stuff that I didn't even understand. I was saying no to. That's how you get the true power of God. It has to be a real yes to God and a no to what you want, a no to your flesh, a no to this temptation. You don't hear what I'm saying. So most people, what's happening, they can't say no. That's why I'm going with this. They can't say no. They want to say no. But the, the devil, he dangled that, he dangled that carrot. What's that carrot? You know what's that carrot. Whatever's in your heart that you dream about, that you think about, that you think you want more than God, he will dangle it. He'll dangle it, and most of you, you grab it. Not understanding the consequences of your anointing getting taken. When you truly are a true man and woman of God, and you want to walk in power, you must possess the power. That's the only way people are going to get healed. That's the only way people are going to be delivered, by the power of God. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Great preacher not going to do it. Great teacher not going to do it. Oh, come on, somebody. Great prophesying. All the conferences in the world is not going to do what the power of God can do. Ooh, with just one touch. Jesus' power is so real, he don't even have to show up. He could send a word somebody's delivered hallelujah through the right man and woman of god or, or supernaturally if you choose to we as a church got to get it together we as a church you don't see y'all don't see what's happening even social media you got people doing stuff on social media throwing i saw this little girl throwing little live puppies in in the river Everybody's doing something for this doggone phone attention or off of, oh, I want to load it on Facebook. They're not even helping people. If somebody getting hurt or something, they're recording instead of helping. Oh, uh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. They're desynthesizing the people of God. Y'all don't see it? It's a spirit of anger. It's a spirit of rage like I've never seen before. And I'm getting ready to attack that spirit. I'm going to start talking about that spirit because it's even in the church. You got you to gotta do this with love. Now, yes, there's a righteous anger, but you got to do this with love, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Most people get angry just like that. When you find yourself getting angry just like that, you need to check yourself because you ain't saved. Hallelujah. I'm not saying that you're not going to get angry because the Bible even says be angry, but sin not. Some of you go too far. That's when you know you're not saved. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being honest. I heard God said, and we were having a discussion about it today. People don't know the power that they can possess, but you have to be pure before God. You got to want God and to serve God's people more than anything, more than that car, more than them two, three jobs that y'all get that wear yourself out that you can't even go to church. You can't even serve God. You can't even worship God. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going somewhere. For what? Come on, somebody. Let's talk about it. Because you talk to somebody, and I'm not kidding, and, and I'm not trying to show off, that have had. One time, I think I had so much money, $5,000 was just change in my pocket. And I wasn't doing nothing illegal. You don't hear what I'm saying. And I tell you, it's when I lost everything. After I was with Stevie Wonder for a little while and all this other stuff started happening, it wasn't that God, and it, and it isn't. I want y'all to hear me clearly. God is not mad at you for having blessings, but he, he does get mad when that's all you want. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. It was not until I lost everything that I really realized what life was about. You know what life is about? Thanking God that you have a roof over your head. Come on, somebody. Thanking God that you got something to eat because somebody don't. Thanking God that you can use your hands and your feet. Come on, somebody. That you can speak because some people can't. Oh, come on, somebody. Go, go in the council ward. Go in the lung ward with cigarettes and everything. They can't even talk. Be thankful. 
Be thankful what you have. But but I'm going to tell you what didn't happen. The world then came in the church and said, oh, you have to be this way in order to make it. Oh, come on, somebody. They even got the little, I can't stand that saying, fake it till you make it. I ain't never liked it, nothing fake. Truth be told. We got to come back to the oracles of God. We got to come back to the oracles of God. We got to come back to the oracles of God. What is the oracles of God? The truth. Love people back to life. Stop being ugly. Some of y'all too jealous, competition. Oh my God. Who has the million followers? Let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all notice how this thing been going. You don't notice that when they get up there, there are anointing changes. Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me I'm lying. Talk to me. Talk to me. Tell me I'm lying. And if that's what it costs, y'all can. <laughs> I don't want it. If that's what it gonna cost to be famous and all that, I don't want it. And I'm not playing. Hallelujah to his name. Give me the power to lay hands on my sister or my brother or myself. Hallelujah. You can keep that. I'm very serious. Yeah, we, we, we have need of things. We have wants and all that. But honey, if I got to trade in my anointing, come on, somebody, hallelujah. My relationship with God for riches of the world and for people to, to, to bow down to me and act like I'm all there and a bag of chips, the devil is a lie. This thing is supposed to be about healing and helping. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to tell y'all a story and I'm going to get up out of here. I love the first tabernacles the tabernacle of Moses and the tabernacle of David, because let me tell you how they did it. And I truly believe that that's what's supposed to be happening right now. They followed the oracles of God from the old to the new. They didn't say, oh, the old is over with, because that's what's happening to some of these churches. Y'all letting these new people come in and new ain't always new. Mm. All right. I'm just going to be real about it. But in the first tabernacle, when they, what they did is they all paid tithes. Yeah, you're supposed to pay tithes for some of you that think. And guess what? If they don't do what they're supposed to do, God going to get them, not you. All right? Praise God. Because all you're doing is, is putting holes in your pocket when you don't. He said, well, a man rob God? Hello. Y'all better listen to that one. I don't know who that's for. But here's the deal. They would actually collect everything, even gold. And they would disperse it among the tabernacle, the people in the tabernacle. So that, that way, everybody. Now, the other was first the widows and stuff of that nature. But everybody had. It wasn't just the pastor, truth be told. I think a lot of people don't understand my calling and my anointing. I've been offered like three, I don't know how many churches. I've turned it all down. I'm going to tell you why. I don't want no 5013C. Because I'm going to tell you right now, they can't preach about gay. They can't preach about this. They can't teach. Y'all wonder why they, they not? Because they can't. Them people are find them and actually take their church. Y'all don't know all them laws, huh? Them laws went in about four or five years ago. God told me, he said, don't you do it. I was tempted to. God said, no, I want you free. I say free, free to speak what thus said the Lord at all costs. Hallelujah. We got to come back to the oracles of God. So I guess what I'm asking you today who are you serving for real? Oh, don't play with me. Don't play games with yourself. Who are you serving for real? Check your heart. It's not a hate issue because y'all know the truth. It's a heart issue. Every day, and I'm doing it more and more so, every day I get up and I pray and I get on my face. And I, and I say, God, is there anything that I need to change? Anything that I need to do? I'm going to do it, whatever it takes, because I want the presence of God. I want the power of God. I want to serve God. Glory should be to God, not to ourselves. That's what I'm really saying. Glory shouldn't be to that man and that woman. A pastor, this pastor, that most of you listen more to your pastor than God. Hallelujah. Most of you follow the next great thing that's coming. Y'all don't know, it's just like the world now. It used to be that when somebody was powerful and preaching and teaching, y'all knew that they were real, y'all respected them. Now, it's just like the world. You know how they have the American Idol and all that? Now, it's the same thing in the church. Next, who, who's the hottest? And, 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 and that's who they call on. Oh, I'm going to cool here. The real ones, the true ones, they ain't calling us to preach. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah. It's just the truth. 
because they don't know what's going to come out of our mouths. <laughs> but you be told, let me tell y'all a secret. We don't know what's going to come out of our mouths because when you truly have the Holy Ghost, you don't know where God's going to come from. Hallelujah. Like some lady got on here talking about, why do you, you don't know the power of God. You see, when God really gets in you, your voice change. Sometimes it get loud like a trumpet. Oh, come on, somebody. I, I didn't mean to get her, but I had to get her because you don't know God. We have no control when we have the Holy Spirit. That's why when I see them people and they're controlled, they're in the Spirit of God. Because when you're truly in the Spirit of God, you don't know what you're going to do, when you're going to do, how you're going to do it, or even why sometimes. Hallelujah. We need to go back to the oracles of God. First of all, some of y'all need to learn who God is. And who God's people are. There should be a wisdom and discernment about you that everywhere you go, you know something and you should know who you're dealing with. The Bible says, know those that labor among you. Some of you don't know that you are in the midst of warlock witches. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Child them, shapeshifters. Right under them. How, how you know? You, 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 sometimes your flesh burn. Sometimes you catch headaches. Sometimes you, your stomach turn. But my prayer is not just to tell you what the problem, but how to solve it. Repent. Repent. And have enough strength to change. No, nobody's perfect, but God, I, I want to be right. Remember um, Keith Wonderbar used to say, I just want to be right. Do we really have a church that want to be right? Amen. Hallelujah. But not just right. If we're really going to do this right, then how are we going to do it with no power? Because most of y'all ain't got no power. Oh, yeah, you could preach and you can teach and you can reach and, and you can get up on here and hallelujah and all that good stuff and, and have a million followers. But, honey, if you can't lay hands, if you can't speak a word, if you don't have the presence of God, what are we doing? Just having a meeting. Might as well just get some barbecue and have a barbecue then. If anyone, I, I, want, I want to challenge every last one of you, and I want you to tag and share this. If if you go to any service, any conference, any meeting from now on, I want y'all to know there's one thing. If people don't come up in there and they don't do an altar call and people are not changed and people are not healed and people are not delivered, it is not God. Hallelujah. And the devil is a lie. Because when the presence of God, things change. You can't even help it because his presence is the authority of all. Hallelujah. It'll make your back back, give me 50 feet. That's what I want. I don't care about if we have 50,000 people and, and this and accolades and, oh, she tore it up or he tore it up. Was anybody healed? Did anybody say, I want to be saved? What is it that, what can I do? Because I want to be saved. Hallelujah. We better stop fronting. People dying. And it's the church's fault, by the way. We should have a presence in this world that make them tremble. Hallelujah to his name. <laughs> Instead, everybody want to look good. Want to be on. And you, you know I'm going to come with it. I'm so tired of y'all flyers. I, I've been saying this for five years. Y'all look like models. You don't look like no preacher. You want to be a model? Well, you're in the wrong profession, honey. <laughs> I thought we was warriors. Told the truth, was the truth, walked the truth, talked the truth. Even behind closed doors, by the way. Hallelujah. So I pray y'all understand. Because we don't have much time left. Y'all think we do, huh? See when persecution come? I think everybody going to get it. I hope it ain't too late. Because here's the deal. When stuff happens suddenly, people panic. You don't know what to do. What am I gonna do? What am I do? What am I do? You better prepare now. God, I'm telling you, I pray with myself. God, make me mentally strong, physically strong, spiritually strong, emotionally strong. You better pray now and ask God to make you strong. Hallelujah! In you, God, whatever comes, God, whatever comes, God, whoever comes, God, let me not fear. Hallelujah! Because when you're not prepared, fear takes over. And that is not of God. He said, I've not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. Hallelujah. So I pray that you understand who you are and whose you are. The Bible says, Luke 10, 19, I have given you power, all power over the enemy. That's the power. Why are you letting the enemy just do this? How is it? How is it that the churches are in a mess this time? How is it? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. 
How is it that men and women are dying from stuff that never used to happen in Old or New Testament? How is it? How is it? Oh, hallelujah. Let us come back to the oracles of God. So God bless you. God keep you. And, and I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to keep staying on this wall. I'm going to keep saying what thus said the Lord. I'm going to keep on. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The more people used to say, I'm going to ride this train all the way. Come with me. Hallelujah. So God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.